Hey, hi everybody, it's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen. And your head's cut off. We're on, hello, testing, one, two, there. We're on. Hi. And your head's in. Yes, it is. And my freshly shown, shorn. Oh yeah, you and me, we both got, got haircuts. haircuts. Today. Feels good. good. I like a haircut. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, having said all that, I've got a meal for us tonight that is good for dinner, excellent for like a brunch, you know? Oh yeah. Or, I mean, you could do this like even at a garden party, I, who has those, I mean, but that kind of thing, or take, this thing is very fresh, it's very um, uh, easy, because I'm doing it all on a pan with parchment paper, and so the cleanup, there's nothing. Um, and it's got all these beautiful fresh vegetables that I picked up. I've got some beets. I love beets. You do too. I, I know do you too. do. Yeah. Some fresh radishes. I've got some sweet potatoes. I've got some zucchini. I've got some uh, 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 scallions. I've got orange, lemon, and... These the, are scallions? They're green onions, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got some great avocado oil. I've got eggs, and we're going to put this... You, you're not going to believe it, but we're going to put it all together. Uh, here's a scallion right here. I'm going to use that too. Uh, I've got ricotta cheese. I've got pesto. Uh, oh, it's going to be delicious, and I'm even going to make my own dressing on top for you. Uh, and by the way, the other thing I've been hankering for, this would go good with like focaccia bread, but I've had a real craving for some uh, hot water cornbread. So okay. I'm going to make some hot water cornbread. Uh, but there's no meat. Now you could add with this uh, chicken, you could add some sausage or whatever, but honestly, I'm going to do it without. We're just going to go very fresh, very light tonight for dinner. Is okay. that okay? The perfect summertime or springtime uh, light dinner. This is what this is. So, all right. Okay. So are you ready for this? <laughs> oh. I love this. It's, I love that kind of when you get those vegetables like that. I know. You like all this stuff. I do. It. I do too. Yeah, I do. Ooh. Cool. See all that. What are you going to do with all oh, that? Oh, that's going to get thrown away. <laughs> oh, they'll tell you what to do with I know they will. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll be back. Let me get, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get things cut up and prepped, and then I'll show you the process of putting it, grilling it, I mean uh, roasting it, excuse me, and then uh, we'll put it all together for you. Easy to do. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I want to show you what I've done so far. Um, oh, that's a little bit too big right there, and that piece of radish. But I, what I've done is i prepped the harder uh, uh, vegetables, the sweet potato, the beet, and the uh, radish. They're going to take the longest to roast, so I'm going to par roast these a little bit. And before I do anything, what I'm going to do is drizzle a pretty good amount of uh, avocado oil on them. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add about a half a teaspoon here, uh, maybe a little bit more of ground coriander. And That's different. Yeah, it's a little different, but I just want to give it a... Oh, here, the best way I can do that is just like this. So it's all over the place. There you go. And then some salt and pepper. And I want to sort of be generous with this. <laughs> and some uh, ground pepper. And the other thing that I'm going to add to this before we uh, spread it out and roast it for about 15 to 20 minutes in a um, uh, 400 degree uh, oven is I'm going to do some lemon zest in here, sort of brighten it up, give it a little brilliance here with this lemon zest. And I could just see cor the coriander going. Oh yeah, flying. that would have been bad. Yeah, thanks you for your the help. Tray up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know me too well. Oh, man. You've lived with me almost 50 years. Almost. Almost. Think we'll make it? I don't think so. Think we're done? I, I'm done. <laughs> You'll hear from my attorney on Monday. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that kind of thing because no. honestly, divorce honestly, as a not, pastor was yes. the worst thing I dealt with. I'd rather have a funeral than have a divorce in my church. That's true. Okay. There we go, beautiful. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these all around so that I make sure everything is coated. Just like that. The, about the only thing I wanna make sure is that everything is spread out so 
uh, and nothing overlapping so everything gets sort of roasted at the same way same temp all that kind of stuff and I'm not being see that's a little thick that might be a little problem but we'll see and this is going to be the bottom layer of what we're eventually going to roast some other things like zucchini and um, all sorts of good stuff including the eggs by the way you're going to find this to be very different mm. uh, some baked eggs but, oh that's the coriander lid I don't want to put that in the oven there okay so into the oven it goes like I said 15 to 20 minutes um, until they're you know getting a little brown and you, you're starting to see some changes and they're softening of course because of it and that's the par roast on those heavier thicker vegetables and then we'll come back and do the rest and then put it all together by the way the other thing that goes on here um, you can do a number of different things and I bought some the other day is uh, some um, I forgot to get it out we're going to add on top of this I've got some snap peas and I got some baby kale now if you don't have uh, a baby kale get the regular what well, I would suggest a little lemon juice in it uh, on the kale itself in a separate bowl massage it a little bit or even you can use oil massage it means just pull it apart and touch it and sort of rub it and it softens it up to be able to eat a little bit easier. Baby kale, quick chop on this, I'll show you. And uh, a, a sweet snap peas, zucchini, and I think that's about, about it. And then we'll put it all together. All right, here we go, be back in a sec. Uh -huh. Okay, as you can see, uh, I've now been about 20 minutes uh, roasting these more uh, thicker vegetables. And honestly, you've got what you want. You've got a little goldenness going on with the sweet potatoes. You can see the, uh, the uh, beets are doing real well. Uh, when the radishes turn a little bit more pink in color, that's when you know those have roasted and are pretty soft. Now we do the second part. We're going to add uh, a bunch of zucchini, sliced zucchini, and I slice this pretty, pretty lightly. Something it's, beeping. It's the Alexa in the bedroom. Oh my goodness sake. <laughs> the Alexa in the bedroom. What is she doing? You didn't tell her to be quiet. <laughs> um, and uh, again, just spreading this all around and we're going to mix it all up anyhow here in just a second. Renee's over for dinner. Again. Yep, she's over because her husband's out of town and I feel so bad for her <laughs> that he back leaves her. Back by popular demand. Yeah, back, back by popular <laughs> demand. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're in demand or my cooking is in demand? Both. Oh, both. Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that. By the way, did you see all these uh, tortillas? Yes. Hold, hold those up, Renee. Show, show. I'm taking these next week to Corn Japan. Corn tortillas. I asked them, I'm going over to visit our church plant team in Sapporo. Yeah. I said, what would you like me to bring? Corn tortillas. That was it. <laughs> Corn tortillas. <laughs> And I mean, it's like, okay, well, if that's what you want. So I went out and bought corn tortillas and taking them corn tortillas. All right, there's the nice zucchini. All right, then I'm going to add some kale. Actually, let me add these first as well. These are that snap peas. I love those. It's going to be so good. He said this would be a good brunch. Good brunch, Renee, if you were doing a garden party for your ladies up north and back when you're home this summer. Okay, now we're going to add some of the baby kale and uh, just get that all around here. And again, you can use regular kale, no problem. Just sort of maybe massage it a little bit and certainly on regular kale, cut it up, chop it up, do some rough chop to it. All right, now with all that said and done, what I am going to do is add a little bit more um, olive oil. couple of glugs <laughs> of olive oil. That's avocado. I mean avocado oil, big pardon. Yep, you're right. And I really just want to mix this up a little bit, get everything stirred around. Very nice. Now, here is what we do next, Renee. We take our eggs. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. And we're going to take... <laughs> Renee, are Renee and I are looking at each other like, is he crazy? Uh -huh. How many eggs? 
I'm going to try to get six in here. And that little bed of kale. It's like Easter. It does. <laughs> it's your protein for the day. So I, I wonder who thought up such a thing as for an egg to put on. Well, you can do baked eggs in the oven, you know. Yeah, but like on, a, on greens. On greens. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's really different. a little different, different isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then let's just salt and pepper a little bit more on the eggs. There we go. And a little bit of pepper here. And we're going to go back in that same 400 degree oven for about um, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And th those eggs should get the white over them and everything baked up and yet be a little runny inside. So let's oh. see what happens. Eh? Oh, okay. Yeah. In the meantime, while that's happening, I'm going to make a little bit of a uh, dressing for the top of it. And we're gonna do a number of things when it does come out. But let's do this. I'm gonna start with uh, some, um, what's, what's the onion that I just used? Just, uh, um, a shallot. I'm thinking about my uh, hot water cornbread. That's what I'm thinking about. So let's just do this. I'll put all that in. All right, then I'm going to add to this um, some orange juice. By the way, I'm going to add some capers in here as well. Mm -hmm. Give it a little a bite of acid, acidity, just like that. And I'm also going to add Dijon mustard, just like that. Let's see if we can do this without making a big mess. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? You do like this too. Okay. I like dressing. And the oranges, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, Renee, at the store, man, they're just looking so beautiful right now. Well, they're gonna be heavy. Um, you, you have a, um, a juicer. I've got a juicer. I'm gonna use, actually, because I'm gonna put some lemon juice in, but I'm gonna do first this orange. I don't, I don't have a big enough one. I don't mean oh, the press. You mean, oh, that thing, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't wanna get something else dirty. <laughs> Since you're cleaning Jesus, up. Since what? Since you're cleaning Jesus up. Susan does the dishes. Yeah. I know, but I, you know, I'm a nice guy. Well, what do you want? Oh, me? right. You've never I'm worried nice about guy. not getting I'm, something I, I think about every utensil I get out before I do that. Oh, man, I better not do this. Susan's going to have to uh -huh. clean it, wash it. Hey, mm -hmm. listen. You know where liars go. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, see folks, this is it, what I live with. Almost 50 years, mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. Let me do the lime this way. In September. Uh, not till September. Yeah. You gotta prepare your thinking like when you turn 70. Yeah. Or when you turn 80. There we go. From now on, every decade is gonna be big preparation. Big deal. It's Thank just you. to prepare your mind. All right, and then we're going to put some avocado oil in here. Just like that. And all we're going to do... Does this taste like olive oil? It's, no, it's, it doesn't taste like olive oil. It's pretty much more neutral. But here. I enjoy cooking with it. It's not, it's it not doesn't have that... overwhelming um, oil taste. And I just want to, um, I want to taste this for salt and pepper. Mmm. Too sour. Mmm. A little bit. I'll tell you what we do. <laughs> he almost no, puckered. Yeah, no, but what we do, and easy, add a little honey. Mm -hmm. And that just will make that really good. So let's try and emulsify that again. Mmm. Lovely. Right on, spot on. I do like that real well. Here, Renee, just take a test and see if that's good for you. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that great? That's good. Yep. So that's different that. and very good. Very good and very different, right? And you can store that in the fridge and use it on all sorts of yeah, other things. Yeah. Good. All right. Now, in the meantime, what I need to do real quickly is get my uh, hot water cornbread going so that I can dump that in the oven while I'm uh, getting this fresh. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Oh. Ooh, they're not done. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Wow. Beautiful. Wow. All right. And so it came out much like what we want here. And here's what I'm suggesting you do. Take some ricotta cheese and do a dollop of ricotta every so often. Oh, this will be so good. Sort of like this. I love ricotta cheese too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a pesto. A little pesto. You don't need to do this, but if you can, fine. And just a little bit around. Oh, the smells are absolutely wonderful. Thing of beauty. It is. It is pretty. Just like that. And then what I would suggest is a little, in my case, which I like, I'm going to take a little bit of, of my um, homegrown basil and put it around. Again, you're just pulling flavors, all sorts of flavors in. Mm -hmm. Even if you had a little bit of dill, if you want, and nice little flavors. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to then uh, drizzle just a little bit of the uh, dressing on. You want to do your own? So, so how are you going to cut this I'll up? let you do your own. Well, that's the challenge, is how do we serve it? But I think the best way, to be honest with you, is get yourself the biggest spatula or two that you've got, mm -hmm. and then just sort of uh, make a mark and, and plate it up, you know? So there you go, Renee, get me a plate ready, and I'm gonna give you... Beautiful. Isn't that something? Beautiful. Renee, you can't beat this. I'm telling you, this is like downtown. Oh, 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 that's a lot. Well, no, it's all vegetables, Renee. Think about it. Okay, here you okay, go. Okay, let me do another one. Let me... One. That was for me anyhow, maybe that oh, first okay. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sue, do you want the egg? Do you want an egg or no? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, give me an egg. Okay. We'll see. Alrighty. Sometimes I can eat them, sometimes I can't. Alrighty. It's a little one. Yeah, there little you egg. go. Oh, here's a little uh, ricotta too, so let's put that down right there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And that, folks, is tonight's meal. That's it. Again, and look at it's on parchment. I wrap it up, throw it away. You know what I would say? He, he would say, where's the meat? That's right. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. You go next door. Yeah, you can go next door. You can go to the, go up to the, the yeah. corner diner and eat. You're not eating where's, here. We're not doing that. Where's the meat? And again, you could put chicken on this, you know, some crumbled chicken, uh, roasted yeah. chicken, you know. Sure. Or have you it with do, it. Have it with it. Uh, yeah, chicken breast or something if you really wanted. You could even uh, have made ahead of time a little bit of um, of uh, sausage, you know, that you had maybe smoked or grilled or whatever, oh, yeah. and just slice it yeah. and put it on. It, it would have been excellent. Be good. That is an easy meal, folks. That and I'm telling you, it took uh, 20 minutes plus 10, another 10 of uh, prep. So say 30 to 40 minutes, you're done. And wow. I'm just waiting on the cornbread, and that'll be done here in a short little bit, and then we're going to eat. So. Again, I'll uh, try to put the recipe up or whatever for you guys, but I encourage you to try something that's a little off the mark, but get some of those fresh vegetables into your home right now, because they're, I mean, you could have done asparagus on here, it would have been oh, wonderful. Um, and different little things, uh, broccoli could have been good on here, whatever. So just try and uh, see what you think. We thought we'd do a little bit of an after action report for you on the meal. And honestly, it was really, really good. It I made enough, and you saw the big tray, probably would have fed four easily, no problem. And there was only three of us, so we're gonna end up throwing some of it away because it won't, you don't save that. It's not gonna save. Uh, the cornbread came out great once I got it cooked right. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. we're all sitting around nibbling on cornbread. But I thought I'd let you know what was working and what didn't, in my opinion. And the thing that worked fantastic was the sweet potato. In fact, Susan mentioned while we were eating, she would rather ha have more potato. sweet potato. Yeah. I love the beets. Did you like those? Yes, yeah. the beets are great. And the radishes were good. The, the one that didn't work out for me was the uh, snap peas. How about you? 
I don't think you need them. No, you well, don't need them you, or you need something different. We decided if you put them in with the root vegetables, with the root, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe at the beginning. But honestly, I'll tell you what else I think would have actually been better would be cut up pieces of asparagus yeah. would have been excellent yeah, in that. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do next time. Yeah. Um, everything else, oh, when you add the ricotta cheese, and mix that with that and a little bit of the pesto. I might do a little bit more pesto next time too. I had snatches of it of coming through in the taste. Um, and then what Renee loved, and she kept drinking it almost from the jar, <laughs> was the dressing. And it does need a dressing of sorts. So, I mean, you could do a poppy seed dressing on top. That would probably be good. But you got to adjust for whether you want it sweeter or whatever. And I probably, when I first made it and tasted it, if you remember, it really came off strong and I probably put a little bit more uh, Dijon than I needed to in it and I had uh, too much um, uh, orange and lime, uh, lemon rather, and so putting a little bit of honey in took away some of that and it's just really smooth, very good and I love the onions in it. Ooh, so good the caper. So honestly, would I do this one again? Absolutely. So I love it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do it again. It, that was that good, and it's fun, and it's simple, and it's. I mean, we're going to go over there and wrap everything up in in the parchment paper and throw it out, and you're done. And so that's sort of the neat part. So go ahead and try it. Let me know if you try it and what you thought of it. Talk to you later. Enjoy.